Hello everyone, welcome to episode 15. Oh boy, I'm excited for this episode, let's go. You got your snacks, you got your cup of tea? You ready to go everyone? It's time. So today my plan is to go and fight the dragon, which I'm very, very excited for. We have kind of mediocre gear. We have average diamond enchants and then a netherite helmet, which, you know, it's probably fine for what we're doing. But we do need a good bow. You guys yelled at me in the comments, get infinity. Got infinity. Flame, power four, infinity. I'm gonna combine this with my old bow, which was power four and unbreaking three. And this should make a really epic bow. Heck yeah. Oh, and it broke. Okay, well, that's fine. Luckily we have lots of iron. And I'm gonna have to just smelt a little bit more of that. Brand new sparkly anvil. Okay, next on the list, we do actually need to go ahead and get ourselves a better pair of boots. I don't have an OP pair of boots for us, but, oh, hello. None of that, there's no creepers, right? I've had a creeper blow up in this exact spot four times now. Four times off camera. It looks ugly now because I keep repairing it with dirt. I'm so sad about it. I need to I need to like put some trap doors here so I'm safe. Um anyways, boots. No, I like that. Okay, so this will put protection three, depth strider three, feather falling three. They're still not great boots, but it's better than these. I actually do have another book for feather falling three, so I'm gonna just go ahead and combine that. All right, new shoes, brilliant. I feel very prepared. I think I'm ready. Um, I'm sure there's something that you guys are yelling at me about that I'm forgetting, but I feel good. All right, this is my inventory. This is what I got. I think that is prepared for a dragon fight. Let's go. Okay, first step to finding the stronghold is to throw an eye of ender. Where'd it go? Oh, this way, this way, okay. So I just have to walk this way for a really long time. <laughs> Until these point me downwards. Right. Wish me luck. Bella and Doro, I'm so sad, but you cannot come this time. It's too dangerous. We're going on an epic adventure and we're going alone, Piggy. We're going alone. No pets. All right, we're saying goodbye to the forests of our home. Oh my gosh. This is probably going to be a really long walk. I'm actually not looking forward to it that much. Hello, chickens. Okay, it's nighttime. Oh, hey, look, it's another ruined portal. And actually that's pretty good loot you know what i would i would take that but i'm on an adventure sorry whoa there's a village oh this is such a pretty place i don't think i've been out here right if it's only been a thousand blocks but i'm gonna throw it okay this way right towards the village are you gonna break oh my gosh that's rude <laughs> right i continue i don't want to throw them too often because i didn't bring that many oh, i forgot rockets i ah I feel like I have to go back for rockets. Like that's... All right, turning around. Doing it again. I got this, don't even worry. It's all under control. You're watching a Minecraft professional here. Doesn't, I, I don't forget anything. All right, so I've realized there's a lot of uh, unneeded stuff going on in my inventory. That was taking up two slots. That's, there's absolutely no reason for that. Right, so now I have gunpowder and paper. You can use gunpowder and paper to make rockets. I'm gonna do flight duration one rockets. That's a lot of rockets. Probably not gonna take all those rockets, to be honest. All right, this time I am truly ready for an adventure. I'm not pretending this time. Actually, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna go back to where I was before. I love making my walk twice as long as it needs to be. That's fun. I like doing that. There's a fox. Do you want my potato? Do you want it? Do you want it? You can have it. It's okay, I won't watch. Yeah! You like that? Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> All right, back on my journey. I feel like I've been walking for eight years. Um, I'm gonna throw again. Oh, we're going this way now. Okay, that's fine. Please don't break. Ah, getting very lucky with the breaks. I've only broken one ender pearl and I feel like I've thrown it like five or six times. Oh, hey! It's the village. I wonder is it under here? It was literally pointing straight at the village. That would be really interesting if it is. Okay, I'm just gonna stand in the village and throw it up again. Okay, so it's pointing back this way. So that's opposite of where it told me to go that time. I, I really think it's under this village. It told me to go this way and then it's telling me to go back. I think it's like, it's, I think, I really think it's gonna be under here. When it, when it's like throwing you back and forth, that's usually where it is. Let's just do one more. Where'd it go? Over there. All right, I'm gonna dig down literally right here <laughs> and just see, cause I, I do have a good feeling about this spot. It does seem suspicious that it would be leading me to a village. I really hope I'm right about this. 
if I'm wrong, this is just me digging for no reason. Uh, I hear a door being broken. And I know for a fact there ain't no doors down here. <laughs> Unless there's a stronghold. It's so creepy. It's genuinely giving me, like, goosebumps. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay, I found... I found some stone brick. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen this. <gasps> oh, it's dangerous. I'm gonna end up getting so lost in here. Um, <laughs> okay, water fountain room. I'm gonna do the same thing I do in another fortress and just block everything off and pick a direction and follow it. For example, this direction has nothing, <laughs> so now I will block it off. We'll go this way. Creeper. Cool. Oh. Ouch. You hurt. I don't like babies. So rude. Oh gosh, there's another one. Stop it. <laughs> Ender pearl. Okay, just in case I need an extra Ender pearl. More chests. Okay. I hate how these chests have iron stuff. Because I feel like by the time you come to the stronghold, you're oftentimes past the iron gear stage. But the horse armor is quite good. And the library. This is definitely my favorite room. I'm going to come back here with Silk Touch and get a bunch of these bookshelves to build with. Okay, here's a room with a zombie. Whoa! There's another library in here. This is a different one again. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh! <gasps> I found it, I found it, I found it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna break the spawner. Break the spawner. <laughs> I know that's gonna break some of your hearts that I just broke that spawner, but it feels like the right thing to do. I don't I don't wanna deal with silverfish. I hate them with all of my heart. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna block up the lava because I don't want that. Alright, first look at our ender portal. So we have one eye already in place. That's, you know, not the best, but it's okay because I brought so many got blocks. Oh, you know what? I don't need to take these two tools in there. It's unnecessary and it'll be putting my diamond tools at risk for no reason. Okay, I have slow falling and regen on my hotbar. There we go. Oh my heck. The end. Oh, this is a fantastic spawn point as well. Love that for us. Okay, I'm gonna tunnel upwards instead of going near the edge. Oh, here we are. There she is. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at her. Wow. Okay, sorry dragon. Oh, oh you know what? Oh, we're still in the early parts of this fight. Let me let me grab some of this real quick. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Throw another ball. Come on. I need I'm collecting your breath. You don't need to be self-conscious. It's fine. Okay, let me shoot a few more of these down. Oh, that was way low. Oh, I hit her by accident. My bad. There we go. One out. I'm getting her with the explosions, which is pretty cool. Coming in for a landing already, so soon. <laughs> Alright. Let's destroy that. Oh, you're loud. You're so loud. Oh, gosh. She's not very happy with me, is she? Sorry, ma'am. <gasps> I just looked at so many Endermen. Potion of regen, because this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I didn't mean it, 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 I swear I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! <gasps> potion of healing, potion of healing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> You're still mad at me, why are you still mad at me? Stop it, go away. Huh. <sighs> My heart, my heart is racing right now. That's not okay. I literally almost said to Enderman, of all things. Okay, dragon is landing, so now's a good time. Nailed it. Oh gosh, what just happened? <laughs> 
Got it. Okay, you stay over there, ma'am. <gasps> no, 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 no. You stay, you stay in your lane. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take regen and I'm gonna take slow falling now. And I'm gonna put slow falling back on my hot bar just in case. And I think I'm ready, I think I'm ready. Oh, she still has this one, okay. Almost though, like I almost got her, I think. I'm offended by how much I suck at this. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, I'ma need you to not. <laughs> that was rude, <laughs> oh my gosh. Good thing I drink slow falling. Okay, I think I got it, I think I got it just then. You have stinky breath, hang on. Let me just fill up the rest of my bottles real quick. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Oh gosh, don't hit me with your wings. Why can't I hit her? I think the strategy when she's here is gonna be have to go for the butt. Yeah, so it's not a weak point, but it's a lot easier to hit her butt. Okay, 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 okay. Now, are you gonna heal off of anything else? Please tell me the answer is no. Um, I think I got them all, yeah. All right, dragon, you're all mine. It really is too bad that I suck with a bow. So I would be doing, I would be putting in so much work if I just didn't suck. <laughs> ah, dear. All right, come here, come, come. Try to lead the target, go high enough. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Enderman, do not look at me like that. Okay, I'm doing fine. I like how the Endermen have the audacity to get mad at me when I look at them and they walk directly in front of my line of sight. Like, bro, that's not my problem anymore at that point. Oh, I hit that one. Getting better. Yeah, this is, oh, no, 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 no. This is working well, heck yeah. I am pleased with myself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's a sniper now all of a sudden. What happened? Oh, never mind, I missed that one. It's fine. All right, she's almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, I think that's as far as I can do in arrows. Her health is done. Like, I think I have to sword the last hit. Is that a thing? Oh, I did it! I did it with an arrow! Oh my gosh! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! It's beautiful! Oh my goodness! Yes! I did it! I did it! <laughs> I'm so proud! Yes! I think that's genuinely my best dragon fight ever. Like, I'm not good at PvE by any stretch of the imagination, but... I felt like that was okay. That was so fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. I didn't take anything to collect the egg, so we'll make something for that another day. I'm just so happy. I'm I'm so happy. I did it. Okay, just dropping off a couple of things here and also I'll just make a trap door to get in here. So if you guys didn't know, you can crawl into here. <laughs> uh, I think I'm mentally prepared for this. I don't know. Maybe I should start and stop the recording to make sure. Okay, I'll be honest, I had a short intermission, went to eat a lemon cupcake, but I'm back and I'm, I'm ready. I'm more ready than ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, it's cool. Let's, uh, let's get some of these, please and thank you. I'm so nervous. What if this is how I die? Like beat a whole dragon, live through 15 episodes with no death, and die to falling. Like that'd just be embarrassing. Please don't let that happen to me. Whew. Okay, I made it. I'm all good. <gasps> Oh my gosh, is that one? Wait. Oh my gosh. I think that is a ship. Wait, this has never happened to me before. What? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. Okay, I guess I'll just bridge right here. Oh my goodness, guys, we're gonna have an elytra. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it is on a separate island. <laughs> that's really far away, but that's okay. I'll, I'll do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, the ship is directly over the void. There is a portal though. This is really lucky. Okay, <laughs> hopefully I survived this. Wouldn't it be awful if this is where I died? 
Remember how early in the episodes I was in the nether and I was like, wow, this would be like best possible time to die. I have iron gear. This is the opposite of that. This is the worst possible time to die. Okay, so my question is, do I go up and get the elytra right now and then take on that? Because there's no real easy access. I mean, I think you're supposed to access from here. I could... Okay, let's, let's start and try. I hate these guys. They like try to avoid your shield. It's so rude. Huh? No, no, no. No, no, no. No sorry, I'm not flying today. No thank you. Hey, advancements! Heck yeah! Parkour professional, don't even worry about it. I got this. Got this, okay. Ooh, end rods. Okay. I don't appreciate this. Killed that one, please. Okay. I got them. Oh my gosh, this is stressful, dude. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it. It's it's a love hate. Okay, I got that one. Oh, there's chests in here. Don't mind if I do. Yes, please. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you're gonna teleport. Okay. Oh, whoa, I could put some of my good stuff in here. I don't have any good stuff right now, but I can put the three shulker shells that I have. <laughs> All right, you gotta go. Are you shooting while closed? That feels illegal, to be honest. I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to do that. Right, what's in here? Oh, leggings and a smite sword. That's a great start. Those are actually almost better than my current leggings. I'm gonna put them both in the ender chest. Okay, there's the ship. It's on this one. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, there would be two of you. Right, so technically the way to get to it is up there. That doesn't feel like... It, like, it feels like I could do it from here. So it's just... Am I just being stubborn? I'm gonna do it. This might be how I die. There's a shulker that I'm gonna try to get. It keeps opening and closing. Okay, got that one. That one. One more. Come on, open, open, open. Got it. Okay. Nailed it. Oh, hi, Enderman. Hey, hey. Not gonna look at you. Gonna take that. Thank you. <gasps> there it is. Oh. Oh, boy. I don't even care anymore. You can shoot me all you want. You gotta go. Can't guard this. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Yes. Sky's the limit. I look good in wings. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. And what do we get in here? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that makes my sword that I worked so hard for look so bad. What? <laughs> um, all right, sure, show off. Um, very cool. Oh, okay, Curse of Binding. Not as cool, but I'll take it. Oh my goodness, I am thrilled. This is, I, <laughs> this is the best. This is the best I could ever hope for. And of course, we do have to go get the dragon head. Naturally, couldn't leave without it. Thank you. All right, my first flight with wings. I'm gonna jump over the void and bam. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm. I'm just, I'm so happy. I think this one might have treasure. Is this the one we were in? No, we were below it. Let's pop inside. Let's see what we got. What are we working with in here? <laughs> Beetroot seeds. Okay. Oh, fortune shovel. Curse of vanishing, though. Unbreaking three sword I will definitely take. This feels like a really good haul so far. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this feels good. I'm gonna, I'll keep a, a chest plate just in case. I really don't love the just endless floating upwards. It, it's not my favorite, to be honest. <laughs> it's quite scary, and I don't appreciate it. I'm just gonna hop down this staircase. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is the big room. <laughs> this is- I'm gonna- I'm gonna not like this. It's okay, though. I've got a good bow, so that's helpful. 
I need a lot of shulkers, so as much as I don't want to take it on, I, I will. All right, I feel very good about this situation. This is epic. This was a great city. I got so many things. I've probably missed stuff, but I feel good. I think I can safely return back home now. Where was that portal that I saw? All right. In we go. Bam. We did it. We finished Minecraft. Ah, I love this end screen too. I'm not going to read it all out for you guys, but I really love it. I might even read it again to myself just for fun. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. You are the player. Wake up. And so we woke up. Back in our world, we didn't need any of these things. We will need those to create some ender chests though. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I'm, I'm like smiling from ear to ear. I just, I'm so happy. We now have the elytra in all of its glory and we can turn our heads to the surface and head back to the village. Our world is beautiful from this perspective. I've never really looked at it, I guess, like this. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, first things first, I need to sort out these elytra. The durability goes down really, really quickly on elytra, so all I'm gonna do is shove some unbreaking on it. Obviously, we are working on the villager area where we will eventually be able to get mending as well. Now, I think it's time for a special tour of this world. We're 15 episodes in, let's have a little review of everything that I've done. With shaders, of course. These are the BSL shaders, I have them on through Optifine. So when we started this world, we spawned right over there. Just somewhere on that shore there, there was a pumpkin. We picked it up, we made a boat, we brought it over here, and now we live here. This was our starter house, this is our storage room right here. We have these farms set up to farm in. Of course, all of these areas do have interior, my kitchen, my bedroom, I really like it. It's cute. It's quaint. It does the job. We're kind of outgrowing the storage room. I'm not going to lie to you, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll sort that out eventually. Around the corner this way, we have this custom tree that I built with our bees living in it, a couple more farms, and then our dock area. This is also the area where our turtle and our bee are currently friends. We have a lighthouse across the way, and in here we have our docks. So I have a little storage area in here. There's nothing really in there, of course, because I'm not currently using that. But I also have this automatic system that allows me to bring things up and down from our mines. And our mines are, of course, fully decorated. We've got a crane, and we can hop down here. This is where we go mining. So I've got this big tunnel. It's only kind of decorated. I haven't put a ton of effort into it, but it's not nothing. This is our main area. I like it. <laughs> this is, of course is the mine car that parks right here and I can send it up and down whenever I'd like to. All right, the sun is starting to set as we are coming up, so we won't visit the lighthouse right now. There's no interior over there. It's just sort of a little beacon for the area. I'm gonna go catch some rest of my bed and we'll pick the tour up from there. Okay, rise and shine. Good morning. Crossing our little bridge here, we're going to head over into the farming area now. This is our doggy Scooter's house. Scooter is currently at my treehouse area though. We'll build a dog house, we'll kind of wherever we're living for Scooter. All right, through the forest here, we have a little bit of a more dangerous area because I've not not lit any of this up, but this is our blacksmith. Oh my gosh, dude, ah, ah, jeez. <sighs> I know I just fought a dragon, but like my heart, I, I cannot take this forest. I have to light it up. I've done some hidden lighting with the shrooms, but it's not been enough. Right, anyways, <laughs> peaceful little bee, this is my blacksmith. Got a very tiny little automatic smelter in here that's been working hard, and our smithing table, a blast furnace, and a little crafting area. Pretty cute and quaint, does the job. Across from that, we have our enchanting area. This is a beautiful little tree stump, little shed off to the side where I hold some of my enchantment gear, little tent area, and an anvil on the inside with the enchantment table. I really like this. I think it is super magical and fits with the area amazingly. It's just so whimsical and cozy. Leaving the forest, we have my simple little animal farm. This is the chicken coop. 
not much going on in here. It's mostly just an egg farm, kind of passively. I tried to only put one hopper so that I wouldn't overflow with eggs, and so far that's working, because that's way more eggs than I'm ever gonna need. We also have the well right over here, and the barn. This is where I keep all of my cows, and the sheep are next to them, unfortunately with no cover for the rain, but they don't seem to complain much, so it's all good. If you're wondering, little shed off to the side also has cows in it. I don't know why, but it does. And this, this is an area I'm proud of. This is the stables. Very simple, got a little custom tree next to it, but these are our lovely horses. This is Doro, and this is Bella. And I love them very dearly. <laughs> I've been so happy with this series to actually get a bunch of pets and animals and bring my world to life a lot more. The stables area for me acts as a little bit of an entrance to my village. It's where we can pick up our horses and travel via path. We're gonna have a path going this way, but it's not yet complete. This path though is complete, so let's take this one. The paths are kind of decorated. I've done some pebbles and rocks along them, but I hope to do some more texturing as time goes on in the series. This area right here is a little shack that I built when I was transferring my villagers. I haven't cleaned up yet, but I do think I'll keep the shack here. Just maybe not the rails. <laughs> it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. This seed is gorgeous. I'm so, so happy with this area that we've chosen to build. I think it's worked out wonderfully. What we're approaching now is my villager area. We're gonna be keeping villagers here in a temple sort of form. They haven't actually bred yet, but our farmer isn't done spreading out the carrots. I haven't really AFK'd in this area to let this thing work. But anyways, that's our villager breeder impulse design. And up the stairs here, this is going to be our trading center for our villagers. It was originally a naturally generated jungle temple. I am slowly converting it into my own use jungle area. Just right here. I think I think it looks great. Very, very epic. Gonna be very functional. All my villager stuff will be right in this area. We also have a great view of here. My goal is to be able to see everything that we create in one area. So from here, you can get little hints at the village that's over there and we can see our tree houses, which we'll go visit next. We are only on episode 15, so not everything is connected with paths yet and completely finished, but we'll get there as the episodes go on. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my lovely jungle home. So this is our newest area, and as a result, it's not very complete, but I really like how it looks, especially at sunset. Maybe I'll wait for sunset to show you it again but I just think it is absolutely stunning. This is our doggo scooter. We don't have a name tag for him yet, but he is lovely. We've got this lovely little kind of man-made waterfall coming down and connecting ponds. Lots of different farms, and this is our main house and base of operations while we're in the jungle. Of course, we do have a spiral staircase taking us up into the canopy, which I hope eventually will be a more full canopy with maybe like actual trees and custom trees and bushes and vines and everything connected together. It's a little bit empty at the moment, but you gotta kind of cut down some forests in order to build it back up. Anyways, this is our farming tree for right now, and I haven't decided the exact purpose of every single treehouse yet, but I imagine as the episodes go on, that will all develop. I'm gonna come back to this area at sunset because I do think it is definitely worth checking out, but for right now, let's head to some of the other more uh, lost areas in the world. Over on the coast over here, we have this lovely little wrecked ship. And this is sort of my pirate inspired research area for the nether. So when I originally spawned in this world, we found a ruined portal underwater. I have converted it into this sort of research facility in a little tube here that makes it way easier for me to get to. And to match, we have a little shipwreck up on shore with a hut in it. I really like this area. I think it matched the theme, but there's not much substance here right now besides just this. I do hope to decorate it more as the episodes go on. I'm not gonna tour the nether right now just because we haven't really got a finished build in there yet. We have a few things started. We have the stables for our strider. We have a hub started, but nothing crazy yet. So I'm gonna leave it out and just do an overworld tour today. Heading back over towards the village now. Oh, look at everything connected together. <laughs> Wowee. Quick detour through the jungle because it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. Right, back on path. Let's head towards the witch's hut. So one of my main goals in this world was to have everything that I need functionally in its own designated area. It would give me more of a reason to build up more of these structures rather than doing one mega build that sort of covers everything. We would have a bunch of smaller ones scattered across the world. This is a fantastic example of one of those builds. This is our witch's hut. 
lovely and whimsical and definitely a different style from over here although still simple and quaint i like it so this is where we've been doing all of our potion burn we have of course our black cat resident witch in here and any supplies that we may want in order to brew potions not super well established yet but i like the entire idea <laughs> oops i think it's gone well oh my gosh just look at it. I can't even describe how happy it makes me to see the world come to life already. In only 15 episodes, we've accomplished so much and we're not done yet. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> That's the crazy part. The sun is setting, which is the perfect time to view everything. So let's give it one more flyover. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with it. Look at the village. Let's head over towards the temple and the tree houses as well. Look at it all. I can't believe we can fly now. It's beautiful and amazing and I love it. Whoop. Ending off over here because I think this is the most beautiful time of day to view the tree houses. They're just stunning with the sun rays and I can't imagine how it's going to look with even more decoration and bridges and vines and all of the things. It's just gorgeous. And with that, I think I am going to end this episode here. Bit of a different episode today, but I really wanted to do a little bit of a tour to catch everybody up and also at the same time fight the dragon. It seemed like those two things went together just fine. Thank you so much for all of your support on this series so far. You guys have been incredible. Don't forget to subscribe if you are following this series as it really helps out my channel. And give the video a like if you liked what you saw here. Thank you for all of the amazing fan art you've been doing. I've been trying to catch up so badly but it's amazing and I love viewing every single different piece you guys are so incredibly talented I just have one question for you if you've made it to the end of this episode that I want you to answer because you, you guys who are here at the end you're the hardcore viewers okay you guys you guys are the real ones what was your favorite moment or build or thing in this world so far that has been done in this series in the last 15 episodes what was it? I think my favorite was getting Scooter. When <laughs> Scooter was fighting that skeleton and we got the name for it because he was butt scooting, I think that was definitely up there with my favorite moments. But also dragging the villagers across and learning the rails was definitely top two. <laughs> it's hard to choose, it's hard to choose. Thank you so much everyone for all your support. I love reading your comments. You are incredible and I can't wait to hear what you've thought of what I've done today. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.